Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another player review. So today, we'll be reviewing 86 rated shapeshifter Rashishka. Um, uh, Rash Rashishka, we're gonna go with that. I could be completely butchering this name, make sure to let me know in comments down below if I am. But anyways, we'll be reviewing this card. I managed to pull him in a draft, so I'm very excited to try this card out. We will hop into the game and see how he performs. Just before we get into that, if you guys are new, it would mean a lot if you do decide to drop a sub. I'm on the road to 2.5k, and we're slowly but surely getting there. We recently hit 2k, and I cannot thank you guys enough. Anyways, getting into this dude's attributes, high medium work rates, which is brilliant, especially for a right wing. Um, in this formation, we're playing him as a right forward, which is basically the same, except just more closed in. And this formation kind of works as free strikers. Um, I mean, of course, you've still got for wide players being wide, but you still have them come in close. I'm going to do my custom tactics here in a minute, and I'm going to put him on uh, instructions of just, like, get in behind, like, f make space so he can get through. We want to abuse his pace and agility, but 5'10 is quite good. I mean, really good for a winger anyways. Preferred foot is left-footed, which isn't a worry. Um, especially being on the right wing, you can cut in, finish it with your left, so not bad at all. Four-star skills and four-star weak foot is pretty nice. I mean, very nice on this game, considering lots of players with good skill moves just go and run it with trash weak foot, and weak foot is quite important, especially being left-footed. Um, I put it on the right a lot, put it on the left whenever I can, so four-star weak foot won't be bad at all. Now, going on to his attribute details, he's got 97 acceleration. Um, Draft decided to give this dude a Hawk, which, I mean, is pretty reasonable, other than that pace boost. The pace boost is a little bit unnecessary, um, but, you know, you can't choose what chem style you get. If it comes to chem style, maybe I'll just put something, I mean, something to get his shooting up, even the dead eye. But, honestly, I think there is something that can get shooting and physical up. So a marksman, just try to find something that gets his shooting up and it, it just get his strength up as much as you can. Um, but 97 acceleration with his chem style puts him at 99 acceleration with 94 sprint speed, which will give him an average of 96 or 97. Now shooting, he's got some great shooting. 91 shot power plus set 8 puts it to 99 shot power, 89 finishing. 89 attacking positioning, 83 long shots with 90 volleys. I'm very excited to try that out. 70 penalties, I'm going up to 78 with that boost. It's not the best there, uh, just don't put him on penalties. It's as simple as that. He's got some pretty nice passing, great curve. Free kick accuracy is pretty average, not the best, 79 there. But some nice short passes and crossing, which is good. Now his agility is 99, which would be the highlight of his card. High agility slash high balance players are the key this year. That's why Cristiano Ronaldo on this game is bang on average. Um, you have to really use him to his his, his gameplay, his play style. Like you can't, his, his balance is like 75 I believe. So I mean you need high balance players. Like say Lukaku, Lukaku or Ibrahimovic have like 40 balance. So that is why they feel extremely slow and clunky on the ball. So this dude's balance 86 isn't bad at all and he's got some great agility there. 94 dribbling, like of course with a 99 agility. Um, you could put a sniper on him to get his shooting up and if you want get that balance boost. It'll be like a plus 5, plus 6 balance boost, but it could be a waste if you just really are focusing on agility. But 94 dribbling is great, 83 composure isn't bad at all, in front of goal that is completely fine, especially as a winger. Now his hitting accuracy is 59 with jumping of 52, which is just horrible, so do not rely on him. You just, As a winger, you want him to deliver it in the box, you don't want him to get in the box and try header it. Now 68 strength, 64 plus that 4 from the Hawk Kim style. 68 strength is not bad at all. 82 stamina is quite average. Quite quite good I could say. Now his aggression goes from 74 up to 82 and I'm excited to get into a game guys. I'm going to get this dude's custom tactics ready and then I will show you guys his tactics. But uh, yeah without further ado let's get into it. Lads, we have sorted our custom tactics out. Starting off with defensive, got drop back as free, um, and playing position. So I'm not about that drop back one depth because that basically you don't have an attack with that. 
So usually I'm going to start the game off on just straight defensive and as soon as some action stays and say if I score first I'll stay on defensive but if he scores first then I'll just simply go to attack. Now we are playing uh, possession as well. We've got Stay Central get in behind on Crespo. Uh, Crespo, balanced width for Rashishka and Neymar but they both get in behind so they can abuse that pace. Um, and then going to attacking, we've got constant pressure with balanced. So instead of playing position, we're going to be playing more more offensive, uh, more offensive if that makes sense. Um, but once again, get in behind, and we've got basic defense uh, support. But we've also got like you know get forward. I got my two midfielders on get forward, so we can get attacking. And then if we really need to go ultra attacking at the end, we've got constant pressure with fast build up. Exact same, uh, exact same. Get in behind, balanced width, except everyone on the team is get forward, except Fabino, who will be my CDM, who I'll put balanced attack with, actually, if we've got to do that, cover centre, um, and we've got our fullbacks joining the attack. We are actually going to, we're going to keep my uh, fullbacks on stay back while attacking, actually, stay, um, stay back while attacking, and Jordi Alba will swap with uh, Zanetti in game, but anyway, guys, let's get into the match, and let's see what he can do, I'll cut up the highlights of how he performs, let's do it. Wow, this is a brilliant team. Wow, okay, okay, okay. I mean, I'm actually nervous about this team. It's a bloody good team. His right striker, he'll probably sub out. Prime Michael Moments is Dan, Prime Michael Moments head here. I'm not looking forward to this, but let's give it a go. Let's test this card out. Do you think, Alan, this could turn out to be a contest? Rashishka, nice pass there. We've got Rashishka with it again. We're gonna do just we're gonna do you know a nice little heel to heel. We've got time. His agility just feels brilliant, lads. It really does. He feels smooth on the ball. Rashishka, uh, he actually wins it. Rashishka once again, that's a nice pass. Small margins in this game. Back to Rashishka. Pass under pressure to Crespo. Rashishka with it, waiting for Alba to make that run. Albert is actually making that run. His pace isn't that bad. We're going to give it into Rashishka. Drag back. We're going around him. We're just dancing around him, lads. That's solid. That's solid. It should have been across into the box. I decided to just test my luck, but that is nice uh, from Rashishka just overall there. Rashishka making that run. We're going to put that in the box, and that is an assist for Rashishka. That's 1 0. Neymar making that run, he's got time coming up against Barassi, which can deliver that in the box to Hedgy, with a second, that's two. Rashishka with it, it's a nice pass under pressure, that's a heavy touch by Crespo, Rashishka actually claims it, he is just straight rapid lads. We're going to put this in the box, could this be a second assist, that's a nice touch by Gerard, that's three, and that is Rashishka's second assist. We're ripping this dude apart, this dude... He's actually decent, you know, like, he's got areas to work on, uh, his, his defense especially, but, you know, we're all over him. Rashishka with two assists at the moment. Two minutes of added time. Rashishka with it. We're just going to do a nice drag back. That's nice there. I'm waiting for Crespo to make that run. He's kind of making a run. That's a heavy touch. Crespo is playing all right. Now we've got Hedge again. We're going to go for a third. Near post finish. And that is 4-0. 4, -nil. four -nil. We're dominating. We're dominating, lads. That is actually half time as well. Now, Rashishka, I uh, don't believe he got that third assist here, but we are actually dominating 13 shots against this two. <laughs> we are dominating. Now, this dude, um, I don't know I don't know where he's going wrong. Hedgy does have a hat trick, but this dude's not like playing bad. It's just his attacking is great. He's got past my defense, or my midfield, I should say, onto my defense like three or four times. So I'm surprised he hasn't scored. Um, it's okay. I'm just going to say lots of it has to do with this dude's defending. He's not that great, but we still get to try out Rashishka, and we will have a look at his assists here. Rashishka with two assists. Let's see if we can get a triple assist, see if we can even get him a goal. Um, but so far, what I'm taking from it, his agility and pace is just out of this world phenomenal um his passing is great as well now i do want to try test out his like finishing you know around 88 85 finishing so i would like to test that out and see if it's a big problem to try again rashishka making that run that pace is insane man 
The pace is actually insane. He's bringing his keeper out. I did not expect that. And that's an amazing save. Wow. Um, I was, you know, I just saw a, a goalkeeper rushing me and I was like, what the hell? But no, Rashishka um, did well there. It was a decent pass, just sadly couldn't finish it. Still a good attempt, no. Rashishka with some insane pace. Rashishka making that run. That's Oh, that's a nice touch. That is a nice touch. Giving that down to Jordi Al. We're going down the side. We've got time. I'm going to play this back to Rashishka. Give this. That's offside, isn't it? Yeah, it's way offside. Um, that's partially. Well, that is my fault. Yeah, but Rashishka, some nice play. Guys, if you can comment how much times I say Rashishka, and the first person to comment it correctly, I'll drop your sub because that is actually very impressive. Rashishka, that's nice. We're going to give a through ball to Crespo. He's going to bring his keeper out. He actually does. What are we going to do here? What are we going to do? We could give it in the box to Crespo uh, uh, to Rashishka. We're going to play that safe. And uh, just give that to Stevie G, making it five. This dude has waken up, woken up so. I keep saying waken. This dude has woken up so much with attack at the moment. Um, it's just my defending just still is getting the best of him. Rashishka, that's a nice pass. Back to Rashishka. We're going to abuse his pace. Let's go for a run, mate. Let's go. We've got time. We're going to go near post. Oh, what a goal! What a goal, man! What a goal, Rashishka. That is brilliant. That's a seven. That's just going to end the game there. What a goal. And the dude's basically given up here. <laughs> this is a... Right. Is it going to end here? Rashishka with a brilliant game. And yes, indeed, it is going to end. Now... I mean, 7-0. <laughs> just, that just speaks for itself. Um, but with Rashishka, he felt just brilliant. He felt amazing. And I'm not just saying that. I say that quite a lot with lots of player reviews. But honestly, with this, I am going to have to give uh, Rashishka a brilliant rating. He's got 9.5 out of 10 with. He has here got two assists with one goal. Picking up that goal in the second half. Now, my experience with Rashishka, I am going to have to say... Um, his pace is a massive pro. His um, his shooting is a pro. His shot power, excuse me, his shot power especially, um, as you guys saw with his first goal, that was a rocket into near post. So his shot power is brilliant. Now going to his as his passing as well is a great pro. But now going into his cons is his strength. His strength. He feels incredibly weird when he comes onto a 1v1 with someone and they're trying to fight for the ball nine out of i'll say six seven out of ten times he's not gonna get it he is his 68 strength just doesn't cut it um therefore i think you should put a chemistry style on him that does get his strength up even his strength and shooting um but you know so overall i am gonna have to give this card based on how he performed for me out of 10 i am gonna have to give him a 9.5 out of 10 i i can put 10 out of 10 screen up but i'm going to say 9.5 out of 10 which is exactly the same ratings ea has given him um i mean he's brilliant he's actually brilliant and will is he worth it i would say 100 percent, guys he is worth it get your hands on this card for the price that he goes for now this dude he feels so similar to messi i know i'm comparing him to messi that's a big big call but for 200,000 coins this card is brilliant Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. See you all later. Peace out, guys.